All right, so let's go through iRobot, okay? iRobot is the leader in robot vacuum cleaners, and they just reported earnings not getting the best reaction from Wall Street because they reported 27 cents per share of earnings for the quarter and 32 cents per share was expected. However, I read through their report just now twice, and we, we have that uh, second quarter revenue grew 31% despite supply chain challenges. Uh, full year outlook is actually gonna be reduced due to the semiconductor chip shortage. And the good news though, is that the company announces plans to execute a hundred million dollar accelerated share repurchase program. So great news there. Now, as I was reading through this, it, it looks like everything is on track. Like the, the, the made the, I guess the, the underlying story here is that they, they have too much demand and they can't keep up with, they can't keep up with demand and supply is too low just because of the chip shortage and they had tariff problems. The tariff problem is getting resolved and they're supposed to get paid back for that. So that should not be a big problem going forward. And then the semiconductor problem, that is a big problem. And that is only supposed to last. A lot of companies it looks like are saying within the next six months or after six months, it should be resolved. So that's really a problem just for this year, 2022, that should not be a problem anymore. And that's why everything else is perfectly intact. So the reason Wall Street is selling off right now is just because they know that the, this company is not gonna be able to meet the demand for the next six months. But if you can look past that, then it's not a problem because the semiconductor ship shortage is gonna be solved. And if we go through some of the highlights here, we can see, so revenue was still up big. Then we have here, this is what really got to me was the company reper as of during the second quarter of 2021. So these last three or four months, the company reper the company purchased fifty million dollars worth of its own shares at an average price of one hundred and eleven dollars per share. Okay, that's a lot. That's insane compared to what the stock's trading at right now. And if we look, so that means they must have been buying all along here when it was one hundred and twenty, one hundred and ten, and all throughout that area. So if if they're buying at that price, that means this seventy nine dollar price is extremely cheap. And if you look at the last couple of years, you can see it normally, it's normally trades at around a $90 range. It's dipped down in the forties just because of the tariffs and the pandemic, but that was, that's in the past. And then it's also skyrocketed to $133. I think it, it even went higher. It's like $150 a share. So $79 is pretty cheap. I just bought 10 shares and I'm just going to keep an eye out for, I might buy more I, actually tomorrow, depending on where the stock goes. If it goes to like if it goes below 75, I'll probably buy another, I might put in another thousand dollars or something, but this is a pretty safe bet. If you look at, let's see, it says for the seventh year in a row, the Roomba vacuum cleaner was featured in Amazon's Prime Day event and was cited by Amazon as a top selling product. When this, when, when they had the Amazon event back in June, I remember reading that the best selling product that day was the Roomba vacuum cleaner. So that's how you know there's huge demand for this product. Uh, the company also said that there was $17 million worth of orders they could not go through with just because of a lockdown in China and just because they're having supply chain issues. So this, 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 is, a, this is a great company, great, great branding, number one brand in this space. Um, robot vacuum cleaners should not, the, they're expected to grow a ton over the next couple of years. And they're the number one player in this industry and they have tons of demand. So this is, this is a, a great company to be in. And now the stock just fell over 11%. So we'll see what happens, but I'm saying this stock is gonna go up very fast, very soon, just because I think it's so undervalued right now. So there you go. I bought 10 shares and I'll probably buy more if it continues to dip.